You know what, let's uh, just talk just a minute. Uh, Swen Nader, I think, is one of the most remarkable athletes and stories uh, coach in, in U UCLA history and uh, came to UCLA really as a pretty raw recruit, not a lot of basketball talent. Could you share but some powerful stories that relate to what Swen learned at UCLA? Mm -hmm. uh, he's an orphan from Holland and uh, uh, later came to this country uh, with grandparents and they eventually came to uh, uh, Los Angeles, and uh, he graduated from uh, high school, never played basketball or sports. Here's a man about 6'11", and uh, just about as ideally built as six, uh, to be big as anybody you ever saw. And, and uh, he, uh, one of my ex-players who was uh, uh, coaching at a junior college in uh, Los Angeles, uh, saw him working in a gas station, and he, he got him to come to junior college, never played basketball. In his first year, he was uh, kind of pitiful. He'd never played. He was a pretty hard worker, worked hard, was a good student, and uh, stayed another year, and he played, and kept improving all the time. And uh, he, um, uh, um, my, my ex-player, his coach, uh, thought that, uh, that he might have possibilities of developing because of the way he'd improved. And at that time, I had a, a player coming in that I thought was going to be a really great all-time player, and that's Bill Walton. But I didn't have anybody of any size to work against him, and I thought, well, maybe if come. So I offered him a scholarship. If he'd come, I said, you'll probably never get to play very much, but uh, you'll have the opportunity to work against one that I, going, I think is going to be an all-time great you're going to have work mastery every day. Now, you might go, he wasn't recruited, I don't believe, by Division, division I schools. But I said, you can go to probably a Division II or Division I, pray all the time. And, uh, but you'll not be playing against the talent that you'll have just to work against daily. And, and I said, if you do that, I think because of your size, there are not too many like that. Uh, I think you finish, you'll have a chance to play professional basketball if you're interested in that. Well, he did, worked hard. His first year against Bill Walton was kind of pitiful. Uh, he got better and better, he worked hard, and I think his third year against Bill Walton, he gave Bill all he wanted. And, and we would have been in pretty good shape even if I'd have lost Bill. I think that's how much he'd improved for that last year. Then he um, goes to El Cajon uh, at College, uh, down in, uh, no, no, at, uh, oh, what is it? Uh, he did was down in El Cajon, uh, Christian Heritage College down in El Cajon. Then later he left there and has been working for Costco ever since. A wonderful, wonderful young man, writes, sings. I have a lot of songs he's sung to me, and and one he's written both, written both words and music, and uh, just a wonderful person. His two uh, growing daughters, uh, college graduates, uh, big, 6'3", two daughters. <laughs> big. He's pretty big, and his wife's good size too. We also, even as a. 